Imagine a world where every object has a voice and your home listens. Are you ready to hear what the future whispers? What if your home knew you better than you know yourself, seamlessly anticipating your every need through the magic of the Internet of Things, also known as IoT? From the moment you wake up to the moment when you decide to turn off the lights at night, discover how the invisible threads of IoT are weaving a smarter, more responsive world around us. Uncover the secrets of bridging the physical and digital worlds, unlocking a future with limitless technological possibilities. In today's video, we take you on an exciting journey into the realm of renewable technologies, Internet of Things, unraveling their promise while staying grounded in the practicalities of their implementation. But before we get into the details, if you have not done so already, please click the like button below. And also, don't forget to squeeze the subscribe button. It will only take two seconds for you, but it will help the algorithm so that our efforts pay. And also, you don't miss out on our content. It will also encourage us to create more content and we truly appreciate your support. The Internet of Things, or IoT for short, refers to the growing number of internet connected devices that can gather and share data. While the term may sound complex, IoT is actually a very simple concept. It's all about connecting the physical world to the digital world, utilizing the power of the internet. At a very basic level, IoT involves outfitting physical objects with sensors and internet connectivity. These sensors can monitor real world conditions like temperature, pressure, motion, and more. The sensor data is then sent over the internet to software programs that make sense of it. This allows physical things to be controlled remotely and make autonomous decisions. This also allows individuals and businesses to perform various tasks, whether that be things such as tracking assets, remotely operating things such as cars or homes, or improve efficiency remotely controlling settings on various different devices, and gain any insights that they couldn't do before in the past. The Internet of Things represents a major evolution in technology. Although it's not brand new, but just for the folks who might not be aware of the term in its sense, it enables a smarter, more connected world where just about any object can be given sensing abilities and is connected to the Internet. While the term sounds complex, it's actually quite simple. Internet of Things is about extending the power of the Internet to connect, track and coordinate devices in the physical realm. The critical element of an Internet of Things or an IoT setup is the sensors which are responsible for collecting data from the physical environment and then converting it into a digital format that can be transmitted over the internet. Now, these sensors measure a wide variety of metrics depending on the use case, such as temperature, humidity, motion, speed, and more. An IoT system could use, for example, temperature sensors to measure ambient temperature or the temperature of objects and then connect them with smart thermostats or industrial systems and even food shipments. In addition to sensors, there's also a concept of accelerometers. These measure proper acceleration and are useful for detecting motion, orientation, vibrations, etc. and are generally found in devices that we know such as fitness trackers, smartphones, game controllers and other industrial equipment. Then there are actuators. While sensors gather data about the physical environment, actuators use that data to influence or control the physical environment. What do I mean by that? For example, the thermostat uses the reported data to control the HVAC system. 
and alter the real world temperature if needed. Let's talk about how these devices connect to the physical world around us. There are a few main concepts or few main processes that internet connected devices actually perform. One of them is cellular. Many IoT devices use cellular connectivity like a 4G or a 5G network to link to the internet. And then there is Wi-Fi for indoor and short range applications, allowing devices to link to the internet through wireless internet networks. And then there is Bluetooth, but more specifically, Bluetooth Low Energy, also described as BLE, which is used for short range communications. Most of these communications happen over standard internet protocols like HTTP, MQTT, and COAP. This allows for the seamless transmission of data between the physical and the digital worlds. And then come in the cloud platforms to put this all together. Cloud platforms such as AWS or Amazon Web Services or Microsoft's Azure or the Google Cloud Platform, which provides services to basically connect, manage, and help these devices analyze all of the data that's coming in and then utilize that data into accessible and actionable information. This real-time responsiveness powered by internet connectivity is what makes IoT systems unique and also useful while creating a feedback loop between the digital and the physical world. Now that we have cleared the concept of IoT, let's talk about some of its use cases. In the home setting, IoT allows various appliances and systems to connect for increased efficiency, automation, and controlling things. Examples such as smart thermostats that adjust temperature based on occupancy and preferences come to mind. We can also talk about smart lights that turn on or off based on schedules or motion detection. Then there are smart appliances at home that can be controlled and monitored remotely. We've also seen a huge increase in the smart locks and home automation systems that can be opened via smartphones or smart watches. And then there are smart speakers with integrated voice assistants. This concept can be extended to smart cities, which forms another use case. On a city-wide scale, Internet of Things allows for the monitoring and management of infrastructure, management of resources, weather, traffic, smart parking, and other services. Smart cities also benefit by IoT in the areas of environmental monitoring of air quality, water quality, waste management, public transportation, infrastructure maintenance, smart street lighting. This is all applicable in the use cases to streamline efficiency across the smart city. Another prominent use case that is worth discussing here is in the industrial space. That forms its own niche. It's also known as IIoT which allows for improved operations, automation, analytics in settings such as factories, warehouses for asset tracking, inventory management, equipment condition monitoring, fleet tracking, shipment tracking, and connected robotics. In essence, IIoT enables industrial facilities to gather data, apply analytics to the data, and increase productivity. Let's look into what the size of the industry is and what the future looks like. The Internet of Things is one of the fastest growing technology sectors in the world today. The total revenue generated from the IoT space in terms of sales numbers is expected to reach in top 1.6 trillion. Yes, that's 1.6 trillion dollars by the end of 2025. As the supporting infrastructure and business models mature, IoT is poised to transform how we live and work. Now, let's talk a little bit about some of the challenges to the IoT industry. As with any new emerging technology, IoT comes with its own set of challenges that need to be addressed. One of the biggest concerns with the growth of IoT is security. 
As more internet connected devices enter our homes and workplaces, there is a large potential attack surface for hackers to exploit. IoT devices often gather sensitive information and can be used to control physical systems just by their nature. And this control mechanism makes security all the more critical. Robust cybersecurity standards, encryption mechanisms, timely updates, and user education can help mitigate these risks. After security, the next major challenge, as you may be aware, is privacy. With IoT, vast amounts of personal data is being collected by devices like fitness trackers, smart home assistants, connected cars, and all of the devices that come along with that setup. The big concern is how this data is stored, used, and shared by device manufacturers and third parties. Having transparency, consent requirements, access control, and data anonymization can help align IoT privacy practices with user expectations. The other major challenge that this industry faces is of standardization across the board. Standard protocols for communication, protocols for data formats, interfaces, and security, and a couple of other different items that are particular to the niche are required to allow devices from different vendors to work together smoothly. Having open standards that evolve organically can prevent single companies from controlling the entire Internet of Things market. Without common standards, devices from different manufacturers won't be able to communicate and work together efficiently. A common example that comes to my mind is in the electric vehicle space. Tesla has a particular style of charger and the rest of the companies have a different kind of chargers. Even if you have an electric vehicle, that might be a different vehicle manufacturer like than a Tesla, you won't be able to utilize the, the enormous network that Tesla has built. There you go, standards are key. And then talking about that, there are some key standards that have emerged in this IoT industry, such as IP version 6 or IPv6, which uses IP addresses to uniquely identify the rapidly growing number of IoT devices. And then there's like 6 low pan, which allows IP version 6 packets to be transmitted over low power wireless networks between different IoT devices. And then there are other standards such as Wi-Fi, like a Wi-Fi 802.11 AH or the Bluetooth LE, the low energy version of Bluetooth, which ensures interoperability. Then there is also the LTE-M, which is a cellular standard which offers low power wide area connectivity for internet devices. In my opinion, work needs to be done to allow true interoperability to unlock the full potential of connected IoT systems. Over the past decade, IoT has moved from a futuristic idea to a reality. We now have smart homes, smart cities, internet connected medical devices, internet connected uh, cars, and a lot more industrial applications that can remind people to take their medication, track their shipments, or get their car serviced, or for a matter of fact, speak to a person via a ring camera. Thanks to cheap processors and widely available wireless networks of different sorts, it's possible today to turn anything, whether that be a pill to an airplane, into a part of the larger Internet of Things ecosystem. Well, there you have it, folks. All the information you need to know about IoT. In a world rapidly transforming through the magic of IoT, we stand at the threshold of an era where digital and physical realms intertwine, promising a future of unprecedented connectivity and opportunity ushering us into a smarter, more integrated world. I hope this video has provided some value and insights into the real world applications of IoT. And I hope that you learned something new today about how the Internet of Things continues to shape our daily lives. If you like this video, please consider to subscribe 
share, and also don't forget to like it in the YouTube section. Also, check out my other videos on my channel. Please remember, your support fuels our commitment to bringing you the most compelling and cutting-edge stories from the intersection of technology and humanity.